Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to the 4M Ranch channel. Hope everybody's having a good day today. I got a little video here of uh, us getting these uh, coulter assemblies fixed up to go back on the drill. Dad's uh, hard at work here getting these welded in. Uh, he took the plasma cutter, kind of cut it out a little bit uh, to put these bushings in that the spring rods slide into and now he's getting them welded in uh, once he gets them welded in i'll be able to get them painted and put back on the drill got seven left to fix have to go get some more uh, bushings went a lot faster than I thought it did and was going to you so here's what they look like now not too bad considering how worn some of them were When we get all these cleaned up and repainted, they'll look pretty good. I got three mounted. These two blocks were newer, so they accepted the uh, Great Plains plastic bushing, so I didn't have to do anything to them. The newer ones have a little bit bigger hole in them than the older ones. And this is one that we redone already. Got the new spring rod in. All these here. This is uh, one of the new springs. Got the uh, new washers and cotter pins put in here. And now there's absolutely no movement in them now compared to what they were. So, we'll be getting the rest of them put on probably either tomorrow or Monday or Tuesday. And that's where we're at for right now. So if you missed the previous videos, basically what we got going on is these Coulter assembly castings are uh, worn out. And we had to have them milled out by a machine shop. I pressed some bushings into them to get back to the original size hole to get the slop out of them. And we uh, are uh, welding in some new bushings for the spring rods. So while Dad's finishing welding up the rest of those, I'm... Uh, gonna do some work on these uh, hubs here a couple of the uh, axle spindle nuts are a little loose and they need tightened and uh, I got a repack of grease in a couple of these bearings uh, one of them two of them on the inside are getting pretty dry and the grease is in pretty bad shape so I'm gonna clean it out and uh, get them repacked and make sure they're all tightened up and ready to go
this hub is done, rotates good, feels nice and smooth, and uh, now I'm going to work on uh, this tire and rim over here. again just put another coat on them Did a couple little touch-ups to do we still gotta get under here and, and uh let's see where is it right, right there so you gotta get under here and weld that up and right here it hasn't cracked anymore since uh First got the drill when I painted it. So since we got it apart right now, we're gonna go ahead and get it welded up. Now that all the paint's good and dry on these castings, I'm gonna work on getting these bolted on so we can get the uh, culture wheels going on here. up here and the culture car will be done. We got some touch up paint to do on it. A couple spots. Here. Right here and I gotta sand this off and paint the other half of this jack that I never did get painted. 
I'll tighten this jack up a little bit so I got some spots in here to touch up. This is done. Center part tab, hitch tabs done. And that's pretty much about it. Well, all right, guys, I'm going to cut this video off here. Uh, stay tuned for part two coming up in the next couple days. And uh, I'll be uh, getting these coulters bolted on as soon as I get my spring rods in. So. If you're not a 4M rancher, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Also, make sure you ring that bell. That way you don't miss uh, any of our upcoming videos. Drop us a like and be sure to leave a comment. Hope you guys have a great rest of your week, and I'll see you next time.